Okay, yeah, so it's a six. This is a 4.7 inch screen, 1355 by 750, and it feels good. It actually feels nice in the hand. There's even a shortcut that allows you to reach all of your apps with a simple double tap on the home button. Plus, you have a revamped camera on the back, a new rounded design. It also feels a little bit like the iPod Touch before. Nice little camera lens there. Feels bright and crisp. We've got iOS 8 on this. It is capable to work with Apple Pay for easy touch payments. And it will be available $199 starting price for 16 gigs. Going up to 128 gigabytes at the 399 point September 19th. That's Scott Stein with a first look at the iPhone 6 in my hand in space gray. I am with the iPhone 6 Plus. What makes this Plus? It's a 5.5 inch 1080p display. Despite being in phablet territory, it actually feels pretty good in one hand and it's really light and thin. Again, you can double tap to create shortcuts to access those buttons if you feel like it's a little bit too large for you. Now, what are the advantages here? Same storage capabilities, up to 128 gigabytes. This will cost you $100 more. Um, $299, $399, $499. Plus, it says optical image stabilization on the camera for extra smooth shots. I'm Scott Stein with a first look at the new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. You can see the difference right there.